the commentary or, 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 or tafsir or, or commentary of the Quran as well. Quraib, Mujahid. Mujahid is one of the students as well. Najda. Najda is, is, uh, is, he asked certain question to Ibn Abbas. Answer them saying the people were accusing him of, of a, a correspondence with Kawarij. He was not a Kawarij and he clarified that. Abdullah, Abu, Abdullah bin Abu Awfa passed away in 86. The following derived hadith from him are in written form. Salim. Salim is the one who wrote down. Salim, scriber Abdullah ibn Abu Awfa. He has a scribes. He was somebody who write, who wrote to Umar ibn Ubaidullah, recording some of the narrations. Salim made a copy of them and then sent it to them. Salim also made copies to those to send it to his friends as well. Abdullah bin Amir bin As died in 63 years after Hijrah. He embraced Islam before his father. He made Hijrah, migrated to Medina after seven years of Hijrah, after seven Hijrah. He knew Hebrew language as well. And he has books from people of the book at Yom Rumuk. He used to read them. He transmitted some of them and he studies these books in early days. He was very, very rabid reader. He came to know of a messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam while writing hadith. So he became curious. He began to write everything he had from the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Some of his colleagues, some of his friends objected to writing everything because Sometimes Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam might have been in, in a different mood or angry or he might have uttered something which was not necessarily meant to be recorded. So Abdullah Abdullah ibn Amir ibn As you know, he did not say anything to them. He went straight to the messenger, sallallahu alayhi This is the beauty of the companions. He went straight to the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he said, he said whether he, he has been writing down everything that the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, has been saying, and he made the point clear that asking whether he could record everything at every stage. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, yes, write down everything that I said. So nothing comes from his mouth except truth. Because Allah says this. وَمَا يَنْتِكُ عَنِ الْحَوَى إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيُ يُحَى هُوَ الَّذِي أَرْسَلَ رَسُولَهُ بِالْهُدَى وَدِينِ الْحَقُ لِيُذْهِرَهُ عَلَى الدِّينِ كُلِّهِ So, Nothing comes. Uh, he is not. He doesn't speak from his desire. Wama yantiku anil hawa. He's not speaking from his whims, his desire. In huwa wama yantiku anil hawa. In huwa illa wahyu yuha. What he said is all revelation. So we believe that this is the revelation from Allah. Saying of the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a revelation from Allah. If we take away that, we we lost half of the revelations. Or more. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. 
He's one of those, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if you want to learn the Quran, learn from Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. Four of them he mentioned. One of them is Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. He died 30, 32 years after Hijrah. And again, there was, there was accusation or false statement that he is against the writing of the Hadith, which is not true. Ibn Mas'ud says in his lifetime, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to write down only the Quran. And tashawud and istikhara prayer. So he said, I wrote down Quran, I wrote down tashawud, I wrote down istikhara because tashawud and istikhara are the narrations that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, uh, a, a prayer, uh, he wrote it down. So this means how can it be against writing when he wrote it down himself? His son brought a book. And it has writing of narrations full of book writing, writing, writing of Ibn Mas'ud about incidences, saying of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, full of them. Abdullah ibn Umar, we all know, he lived long. He died in 74 years after Hijrah. He transmitted large number of narrations. And he's one of those who strictly follow the tradition of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There are certain things that we do now, although we do not have a record of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did it because Abdullah ibn Umar did it, we follow this because we know that Abdullah ibn Umar is, is not going to do something that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not do. For example, if you go to, uh, if you go to Tawaf, and you say, Bismillah, Allahu Akbar, we begin there. There was no report, except that Ibn Umar did it. We follow this. He was very famous, the strictly following the way of the Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Even matters that are not significant, doesn't matter. The Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, stopped here, he stopped there. He prayed here, he just follow everything that the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, did. Even things are not important, he will do this. So it is, he's the model. He, he, he is away from politics. He doesn't get involved in politics like any other companions, Ibn Abbas or Ali and others. He had books. He has many books. One of them is his father's book in his possession. He, he was read to him by Nafi several times. Once when a man asked him to write down all the hadith for him, Abdullah replied that it was too much for him to write down. Then he gave a man a piece of advice for his behavior. So there are many, many, many of them. I mean, if it is, again, one more companions, Abdullah ibn Zubair. Abdullah ibn Zubair, many narrations derived from here. Abdullah ibn Zubair died in 73 after Hijrah. Umm al-Mu'mineen Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. She passed away in 58 years of Hijrah. Very large number of hadith transmitted from her. She knew how to read. For sure. Well, we did not have uh, enough evidences to say that she knew how to write. Uh... That it appear, perhaps appears that he, she, 
has somebody write it down. People ask questions and she answer them as being written down. But he ha, ha, herself written down, we don't find any report and, and this. But she transmitted two letters. We call it Kitaban. And we, so, we, we, we have that. So uh, Muawiyah wrote to Aisha radiallahu ta'ala and her several times, asking her to write down some of the narrations, some of the traditions for him. And she sent them to him in written form. Urwa, his nephew, used to write down from the Aisha radiallahu ta'ala and her. Zaid ibn Abu Sufyan also wrote down narrations from her. He said, we ask questions and we write down the answers from her. Ali ibn Abi Talib is one of those who was the scribes of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Prophet once dictated to him. He wrote a large piece of his, 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 his both side. And he had the sah sahifa from the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which he mentioned in various statements. He had a kitab of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on zakat, on zakat, on and encourage students to write down the hadith Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu ta'ala and hurdwa. Anas ibn Malik, when he was 10 years old, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam moved to Medina, he served the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for his life. And it, he served for him 10 years, more than 10 years. There is a long list of his students who transmitted from him. He, he lived almost long life because he was young. 93 years after Hijrah, he passed away. He advised his son to write down Hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to learn them, to, 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 to memorize them. We do not value the knowledge of those who have not written it down. The value of knowledge is in writing, he said. When Anas ibn Malik, when Anas ibn Malik gives uh, people gather around him and they brought books they brought things to write down when he says and then they they have to read him back because he wants to make sure that what is being recorded is exactly what he has said nothing added or subtracted from it and one of the Ansari, I don't remember the name of the Ansari. He complained to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam his memory, just like Abu Huraira did. Asma Binti Umais, she wrote down. Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha the daughter of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam she passed away in 11 years of hijrah she wrote down some narrations from the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam Fatima bin Qais she wrote down Abu Salama wrote down the hadith from her she dictated Osama bin Zaid, his wife Fatima sent him a letter describing the, the, the condition of the, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hassan ibn Ali, Hassan the son of Ali, 